Well, howdy everyone. Um, here's a quick video on how I sprout seeds. Um, in here, I have um, four ambrosia cantaloupe seeds. And this is what I use for most of my seeds to germinate them. I like to pre-germinate before I plant them. You can direct sow, but sometimes the results are not uh, quite as good. So what I do with this, um, this is a container that uh, some lunch meat came in, but you can use any container. And in the bottom, uh, we have a napkin, just a plain old paper towel. Um, I wet it with water, and then uh, once it's wet, I drain off all the excess water. And uh, then I place the seeds on top of it, and I you flip this over to kind of cover them, and uh, put the lid on which I have here and then you put this in a warm place so anyway after you cover these up um, you just place them in a warm place they don't need to be in the dark to germinate and check your seeds after about a week they should be germinated um, I will come back when they are and do another short video um, Cantaloupe seeds, you know, they can vary. Uh, they can take seven to ten days uh, to germinate. Um, now, do, don't expect every seed you put in to germinate because it's be pretty rare to have a bunch of seeds that had a hundred percent germination rate. So you always want to start more seeds than you need, and then um, you pick out the ones that are the strongest. So what I will do with these, um, they will sprout and I will take them when they have a root showing out. You don't want to let them stay in here too long because then the roots can grow into the paper towel and then that makes them a little bit harder to remove. Anyhow, uh, about a week, 10 days, they should be germinated when they have a tail coming out. Take them out of here, make a small hole, and plant them in your potting mix or, you know, whatever you're using. I use cocoa core. And um, basically root down, and you can leave a teeny bit of the husk sticking up. Now, when they germinate, a lot of times the seed husk will cling to the leaves usually it'll fall off on its own but if it doesn't you can carefully remove it it'll usually come off pretty easily so that's how I germinate my cantaloupe seeds and I use this for most seeds that are larger um, you know cantaloupe, beans, peas uh, I use it for tomato and pepper seeds. You can use it for just about anything, but if the seeds are really small, it gets kind of difficult to remove them from the container. Okay, that's it for this week. Take good care of yourselves. Happy gardening, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.